successful. He delivered it to Malabunga. And although it di yung baon na baon na palo ni Kim, pasok pa rin eh because of his height and length. And that saved the Philippines in the first set. And even though Mark Alfafara committed that service error, I mean, Mark Alfafara, you yeah. You can't doubt the players that we have here on this lineup. And plus, in the men's game, you really go all out in serves because if you give a soft serve, tako, nagang right back at you, you uh, for sure, you will suffer the consequence of uh, of that. So high risk, high reward. Pero ganon din yung yung nga high risk pa rin. Marcus Pejo led the way for the Philippines in that opening set with eight points. This is point number nine for the Phenom. And totally avoiding that, uh, that single block. But I think the most major difference between the Marcus Pejo and the UAP and the Marcus Pejo we're watching right now is the power. It seems that his time in Japan playing as an import for Oita Miyoshi, Weiss Adler, or Adler really transformed him into a different player. Well, it's, that's why it's also really nice to experience uh, to play outside of the country. You you take away a lot of uh, you, you know, a different kind of volleyball with you. And so that when you come back, you become totally a different player. And Mark Esper really opened the doors for other players. Right yes. after that, it was Magunas' turn to play as an import. And now it's Magunas' turn to get a point for the Philippines. And this is exactly why we are so excited with uh, this team. Bagunes and Espejo in one team. Look at Bagunes go so high up in the air and uh, get that attack. Saura, his kill block late in that first set was also huge for the Philippines as Vesma tries to continue to make things happen for Cambodia. So in the first set, you know, Ratsme who came off the bench and Vesna really did the damage, the most damage for Cambodia. Oh, on a combination play this time. Now Retamar is just going exclusively to Espejo and Bagunas. That random. Two of the best open spikers we have in the country. Chandrik making sure that ball went in. And again, the consequence of an easy serve. Cambodia getting that last point. For all. Again, Cambodia tries to stay within striking distance here of the Philippines. Running attack. Two for two for Kim Malabunga. Malabunga back quick. Getting this point, avoiding the blockers. It was he dog AJ last night. Make all order get John Pick, de ba? Sabi niya no less than a silver. Kaya si kung si John Pick talaga yas pumped up in this match. And this is the best way to get on the road towards that goal. Getting the W against Cambodia. And it's also good that they dealt with adversity in that first set. Right. Because as you said earlier, Mozi, you can't experience this all the time. This type of level of competition. You know, they, they, some of them experienced, experienced it individually. But as a team, you know, it's in the coach Dante, they still lack that uh, experience as a team. And you can't simulate that. You have to participate in as many Correct. tournaments as possible. Espejo, what a chase there by Cambodia. Raxme getting denied. Malabunga again. And it's the defense of Saura and Malabunga at the net. Now uh, it's more, more consistent in this uh, set, but we had a, they really had good blocks. Sabi mo Saura with that uh, very crucial block point. And again, this is, what, this is the net system that you were saying has to come into play. At the set's first technical timeout, the score is 8 to 5 eight in to favor five of the Philippines. Philippines. Another solid start to this set. Ngayon, December 3, Tuesday, the Philippines 2019-30 in Southeast Asia. For the Philippines, currently leads Cambodia 8 to 5. Maraming salamat. Sinapagtutok ngayon ang Tuan Rojas together with Mozi Ravenna and... 
it appears that the Philippines has settled down even more here in the early goings of this set. But Raxme continues to stay aggressive for Cambodia. You know, for Cambodia, they have to have other players pitch in when it comes to scoring. Because eventually, nagiging marcado na yung mga usual suspects nila. Espejo, even though he is a marked man, Cambodia having trouble stopping him. So Espejo. Cambodia was actually right in giving him three blockers because there were only two at that time. <laughs> 11 points now in the match for Mark Espejo to lead all scores. Oh, that was a difficult set. Espejo again. Raxme gets denied. And the continuity of uh, the Philippines defense on Cambodia gave them that last point. Once again, that net system that uh, Coach Nani has focused on in training is now actually working for the Philippines. Even Ancheta of the NU Bulldogs in the crowd. <laughs> Kanina pa, how are you back? <laughs> so proud of his teammates. I know, of course, his coach, his coaches. John Vick from the opposite side. Retamar goes back to Espejo. What a save by Cambodia. Raxme. And he will get the point. Using that off the block hit. Raxme still at it. Here again, you know, the other players, they, they also have to be threats for the Philippines. Retamar. Espejo from the other side. And you like the timing of that last play. No set for uh, Mark Espejo. Substitution for Cambodia. Number nine out, number 15, Kun Mom in. So Kun Mom had a very short stint. He started this match. Correct. And then Ratsme came in. Now, Coach Lee Jun returning to the starter. Let's see if Mom can come alive here. They go to the middle. And Ratanak is able to finish the job for Cambodia. Ratanak, quick on that one. Totally avoiding the two blockers of the Philippines. 11 to 8. Oh! Straight to the net on that serve by Mom. Still cold coming off the bench after starting and playing very briefly. Almost a best cue. Unas. A joust at the top. That was actually so close to the net, but uh, Cambodia managed to save that one to get the point. Yeah, down by three here. Paul Ratanak. Oh, again. A casual serve by Cambodia there. Another error on the side of Cambodia. Error on the serve. And they only had one service error in that first set. The Philippines actually had four. Marami pang pwedeng gamitin si Coach Dante din sunurin mo. Eh, I'm pretty sure he would uh, give some uh, playing time to the other players as uh, you see Coach Ty put it. Substitution for yes, Cambodia. Jonathan, number 15 out, out, number 9, Amir Rasmaye. Look at this play right here by Reta Mar. You know, the youngster, he just uh, laying his heart out in this first, uh, his first sea games. Game match against Cambodia. He is not disappointing us. Triple block. What a uh, plan, you know, the game plan for the Philippines. Look at this triple block. Like no way for Cambodia to get that through. And it was Retamar at time. Yeah, Cambodia. Forces Cambodia to call for time. 
Wow. Now the Philippines made their presence felt above the net in the opening set. Six blocks. Kill blocks, Tali. Just four for Cambodia. Although Cambodia was able to match them in terms of spikes, just one spike more for the Philippines. But we are very impressed with the timing and the decision making of one Joshua Retamar. The youngest player on this national team, 19 years old. John Victor Guzman. Oh, and again, another solid block, kill block. At the set, second Pag technical timeout, time. the score is 16 to 9. The, yep, the Philippines have settled lead. down, and this is now their biggest lead of the contest. End of the second technical timeout. The Philippines on the hunt for their first victory. And the fans have come out tonight at the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig to support our captain, John Victor Guzman, and the rest of the members of the national team. 16 to 9 is our tally. Cambodia trying to come back, but as you mentioned earlier, Mosi, other players outside of Vesna, Raksme, they have to step up yes. if Cambodia wants to try to steal one away from the Philippines. Wakunas. And again, Mosi, three blockers. Now they are more consistent and you can see that the, there is really a system and uh, they've been pointed who the main guns of uh, Cambodia are. So that's why you know even uh, in the set, second uh, in the first set, the other part of the first set, we've always said that uh, some the other players of Cambodia they have to step in and uh, also score for the team. So the in-game adjustments are being made on the fly here for the Philippines. But Cambodia trying to rally back. Retamar, another running attack. Three out of three for Kim Malabunga. And those the running attack, attacks of Malabunga. You see that they're all running attacks, but they're different in the different parts of the net. And uh, how he did it also, and uh, your timing, so it has been so effective for uh, for him and the Tamar in this match. And from a running attack, Kim Malabunga defends the net. Oh, it's Retamar once again. again. <laughs> you know, Retamar is deceptively tall. <laughs> Playing taller than all of them. Off the mark. Retabar has had at least three kill blocks already here in this match. That's why Coach Dante opted for Retamar, a taller center. Espejo. Ball is in the air. Raxme is back. Let's see how this goes. Let's take a look at this once again. There is a challenge on the call by the Philippines. Block touch. Good Sherwin Meneses. Coach Dong De La Cruz, right behind our head coach, Dante Elinsunurin. Hard-working coaches behind this team. We have to have the right challenge, right? the right 
Packer for the challenge. Oh, but make a good news. Espejo avoiding the blockers. But too much angle on that one. It's a point to Cambodia. It means they have to settle. Pretty much uh, dominating this uh, this set. But the Cambodia is patiently trying to catch up. That's not. It's out. Four point lead for the Philippines. Coach Lee Jun looking on. Malabunga. Espejo at the top. Mark Espejo with 13 points here in this match. Clearly the ball was on the side of the Philippines. 20 to 15 in favor of the Philippines. Sarun is able to get the point for Cambodia. Sarun pitched in a little bit of uh, his attacks uh, during the first and the second set, but uh, you know, the other guys need to help out their attackers as they again commit another service error and uh, give a free beat to the Philippines. And that just hurts for the Cambodian team. They only had one service error in that first set. That's at least two already here in this second set. Back row attack. And really, it's it's Vesna trying to put his team on his shoulders. But that's not going to be enough against this loaded Philippine squad. Although that back row attack has uh, been effective for them in the second set. Combination play. Espejo just doing it all in a variety of ways. And you know what's hard about that combination play coming from the Philippines? Saura is a really tall player. And uh, so it's hard for the it's harder for the uh, blockers of, of Cambodia to see where the ball is going. And I believe John Vick was on the way down when he flipped that ball back to the Cambodian side. <laughs> the captain, John Vic de Guzman, giving the Philippines a 23 to 17 advantage. This is a more comfortable set as compared to the first set. <laughs> In the first comfortable set. <laughs> for us. <laughs> and, and that, what we saw right there, that running attack of Malabunga. Sobrang linis. The sky was clear for him. Hang time ni jo, ani captain yun. John Vic de Guzman with that push. Timed it well. Got the point. We'll take it. Twenty-three to seventeen. Espejo will not hold back from the service line. Cambodia. Again, yeah, uh, that uh, attack was well read. So right now, it's just about two, three people from the Cambodia side. I'm really loving the activity at the top of the net. Saura, just so steady for the Philippines. Espejo, Philippines already at set point here in set number two. They're just making the lives of the attackers of Cambodia so difficult. At the end of the a second set, the Philippines takes it 25 to By 17. And they last leave this match two sets to nine. And again, the Philippines closing the set via a monster block. And Bagunas is doing the monster block dance <laughs> that everybody is doing <laughs> at the Phil Sports Arena. The, 30th, the Philippines on top two sets to nine against Cambodia here in Group B of the Men's Volleyball Tournament of the 30th Southeast Asian.